D2DNY Real World HV Simplified and now in this video I'll be showing you how to access this BMS or BACnet rather how to access the BACnet menu of this device this is the Procon Belkobems Mini A1M it's a Mr. Bishi electric backnet or Modbus capable device this device allow your P series or your CD multi units to be connected be able to connect it to be connected with your building management systems or BMS systems or BA systems um, I did a video on this previously it wasn't a video on how to connect it to your computer it was a video in setting up the node addresses the dip switches here all right um, so this uh, 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 in that video I think I'd mentioned that this is only for uh, mini splits type units however you can use this on city multis as well so if you got a p series mini split which is this is what this is it's a p series one to one mini split um but you can use this as well on um city multis now if you want to see how to connect this where on the board it goes i'm going to leave the link to that video in the description so check in the description for that now like i said in this video i'm going to show you how to access the backnet setting menu or backnet settings on this device through your computer using a rs485 to usb adapter all right but before we get into the video if you have not subscribed i want you to do so right now and um, smash the bell icon so when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. Okay. So, just so you know, this device here, I picked this up um, on the internet. All right. Purchased this on the internet. Nothing fancy. There are several types. You don't have to exactly use this particular type, but there are several different types. Pick, pick your own poison. All right. Um, so besides that, this wire, I, co I connect between my device right here, as you can see, let me get some light in that, let me get some light, there we go, so I connect um, TR+, plus, which is the same as A, or A+, plus, and TR-, minus. so that's why I got it right here, so the polarity has to be, has to be the same can't crisscross them gotta be same polarity plus to plus minus to minus so you know there's a little key or map back here that explains you know tr see tr plus same as a plus or a and then tr minus same as b or b minus so on my device see you have tr plus which is a red goes into a and TR minus, which is the black, goes into B. There's nothing connected to ground. It works this way, no issues. This here is the BMS Bucknet com wires. All right, so they are currently disconnected because I didn't want to, you know, splice and have you know, interfere with their communication, the building BMS, or BA system communication. So I pull their wires out. Got to be careful not to touch these or short these together because then you might knock the entire BA system offline temporarily, I guess. So that's that. And once you plug the wires in the device, the Procon device, you have to then configure your dip switches like this in order for your computer to see it or communicate with it. You have to configure one, six, and seven on 
and every other all other switch is going to be in the off position okay so let's get to my computer now so in my computer which is a mess you can see all these icons there is the uh, software So that's the software, so I'm going to go ahead and la launch that software. Alright. That's the screen. Now, if you are not, if you are not computer savvy, alright, you're going to, this device here, oftentimes may not work, may not work directly with your computer, unless your computer have the drivers for this device or whatever RS-485 USB serial adapter you have or serial RS-485 USB adapter whichever one you have if your computer computer doesn't have the drivers for it installed on it then it won't work so I'm going to show you how to check and see if this device is good to go on your computer and um, what COM port it's using because you're gonna need to have the com ports to put into this um, software here, Mr. Beachy software. Now, if you want to know where to get the software, you're gonna to go to mylinkdrive.com, uh, whatever country you're in. I'm in the US, a USFA, so I select USA when I go to mylinkdrive, www.mylinkdrive.com, and I think that now they have a trained version of that. You know, there's trained in Mr. Beachy now. I guess they're doing business. So you go to www.mylinkdrive.com, you can get this software. All right. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to show you how to check this device if it's good and working on your computer. So you're going to have to open device managers or device and printers. Let me go back and see, show you where I find this. How you locate that? So you're going to controls panel. All right, you open controls panel from your Windows desktop. I don't know how to do it on, do this on a Mac or Apple. You know, I'm always a Windows guy. So from here you go, hardware, view device and printers. Click on that. It's going to open up all your devices. So uh, there is my device. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, double click on that. And then I'm going to. Oh, the phone is going crazy. It's trying to focus on the screen. Camera. I do use a phone for my camera. It's the A70, A70. What is it? It's A75? I think so. Or A71. I'm not sure. But it's really good. So I'll get on my videos. All right, so you can see that I'm click on hardware, and you can see where it says I'm on COM port three. All right, so that's the it's the FT two thirty two R USB UART, and so it's on COM port three. This is important, and you're gonna see why. COM port three. The knowing knowing the port. Knowing what port is connected to is important, and I'm gonna show you why. So I'm gonna close this. So once you can see this thing right here, and if you uh, click on this, and you can go properties, and it says, uh, I can have this device printer, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Okay, it says right here, the device is working properly. Okay, and right here again, this is a port number 0003, hub, uh, well, hub 0003, so you know that's port 3, all right, com port. So, once you see this, you know you're good to go. If you don't see that, if you don't see your device once you plug it into, if you don't see your device once you plug it into your uh, computer, then, you know, this step, the next step won't work, so you got to solve that problem first, all right? Oftentimes, these things will come with a... Uh, driver which you have to install a, a, a disk or you can download the driver for drivers from online
okay so let's get back to um, this is it is it all right so I have um damn this, this uh it's going crazy come back up that's better so I got my software open again I'm gonna hit connect and you see where it says come port right there where it says come port and uh, this is why you need to know your come port because it would not automatically select this I literally chose that one because I know what come port my RS485 to, to USB serial is connected to so you get all different varieties of numbers here okay a whole list of numbers so if you don't know what port then this won't work so I know mine is on three so I'm gonna leave it on three okay and then when I'm gonna hit uh, I don't think down here means any difference this is offline settings you're gonna make your settings offline save it and then upload it at that point you're gonna need to know the firmware version that's on your um, Procon so I'm not gonna be touching that down here because yeah, I think right now it's on the highest version but I won't be going down there because I'm just going to show you you can select your version down here this is for off offline it won't connect to the device you can make your settings down here and then save it and then you can write to the device later on actually maybe this is how you update your firmware in that device who knows um, but in this case I don't need that option I'm going whatever I'm going to do with this I'm going to go right up here online configuration all right so I'm gonna hit connect and how you know that this is good and you're actually connected is uh, this right option is now clickable okay if that right button is uh, a right setting button is not clickable then you're not connected I'm gonna give you an example. As a matter of fact, that what that is what you'll see if when you click the connect button, it doesn't work. You'll see something like this. And you can see clearly what I did, I changed my COM port number. So certainly it will not work because it's not five, it's three. Okay? So and if I go down bottom here, I can go offline. Okay, and then I could click um, edit. And what you see, the right setting is not clickable. All right, so let's get back to what I was doing. I need to do this. So I'm gonna go online. Go back to five and three. Okay, I'm gonna go connect. Boom, I'm in. All right. Now, out of the box, the the device instance slash device ID is one. This is what it, this is how it is. This is how the Procon comes out of the box default okay and so primarily what you're going to want to change is the device instance or device ID because if you have six or seven of these on a particular BMS network system you can have several more than one device with the same um, instance number this you know it's just that's a conflict you're going to, have to change this number and the Mac right and if you don't know how to make that you gotta just uh, ask the BMS uh, controls guys or the people who runs that they will they will tell you what they want for this button it's setting here but out of the box if you have if you have only one device you're good but if you got four or five or even six seven of these devices 20 30 50 of them on your system with the same number it will not work it will only see only one and so you have to come in and change that okay so I'm gonna go ahead 
because I've been doing this um, already, and I did a few of these uh, systems, I have a pl platform saved. So I'm gonna go option and load. All right, and I'm just gonna, so this is the base. Um, so I'm gonna load that. Yes. Okay. So, also this number here, somehow, Mr. B, she wants you to change this to 127. All right, you're gonna change the max master to 127, which is the highest limit. Highest limit of uh, cards you can have, or pro cards you can have on the network. Okay, so, um, that's what I think that's it. I think that's, that's, what, that's what that is. The highest number of cards, or uh, pro cards devices you can have on the network. But this came from factory, what, 31? That's the default? Let's see. Let's go and reconnect and get this stuff that's on the box right now. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yes, disconnect. And I'm going to connect again, and this is going to bring me the settings on the box. Yeah, that was 32. See? 32. All right, so in this job, I'm using the instances in the 28s, to, uh, uh, 2800s. So, what am I doing? Get off here, that's wrong. All right, so yeah, again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. So, yeah, so um, my broad rate is going to remain the same. So, I'm going to go, I did seven and eight, so I'm going to do um, six. And I'm going to change this one here to the map to six. All right. Boom. And that's that. I'm done. All right. So now, you know, you can also change other things here, other settings here if you need to. And then once you're done, just click the right. And written successfully. Okay. I'm going to go ahead now and close this video off. You got questions, leave in the comment section. All right. Signing out. Oh, one more thing before I sign out. When you're all done with this device, right? And you, and you, uh, whenever you make a change to the, uh, so if you're still here, you're special. I mean, this is important stuff. All right, so this is what you set your switches on the device to, for your computer to, to, to be able to talk to it. And I think this is the option for Modbus. All right, so this is how you do it. And um, when you're all done now, you need to flip these back um, only one through five on and six, seven, eight is off. And that's how your BMS, these are the BMS wires, is going to pick this box up, right? All right and then once it picks this box up, or this device up, now it can communicate with the unit, turn it on, turn it off, see the temperature, see the set point, see if there's any errors, stuff like that. Um, but every time you make a change, because this is a, I forgot the name of this thing, a type of connection or communication, whatever, that's irrelevant. But every time you make changes to the switches, you have to, either unplug it from the main board or you have to phone you again. It won't be edited out because you know this is real time, real world. Um, every time you uh, make changes to the switches, you're going to have to cycle the power because if you don't cycle the power, either you cycle power to the unit or you unplug it from the main board. If you don't do that, then whatever changes you made to the dip switches, it it's not taking. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it's basically whatever it was before you touch it. So these changes that you're gonna make in the switches won't go in effect until you cycle power. So simply how I did it, there's no switch or disconnect here. So what I did, I just simply loosened the screw and carefully detached the wire here. Wait five seconds, stick it back in there. The, the box goes off, lights goes out, 
and then the lights reappear. So it's reset. All right, so remember, when you're finished with your settings, you're gonna keep, keep one through five on, six, seven, eight off. And that's it for this video, guys. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And um, if you have not subscribed, subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis.